The new Kalang Football Hub is set to give Singapore's football scene a leg up, giving a home to its young pool of talent. This is the country eyes bigger football aspirations like qualifying for the World Cup. Alif Amsha tells us more. Tessa Ng dreams of playing for her country in front of a home crowd. The 12-year-old has been part of the National Development Centre since last year and hopes that one day she'll be good enough to make it to the women's national team. Training at the new Kalang Football Hub gives her extra motivation to get there. My favourite part about training is that we are able to play matches because the field here is really big and it's not it's artificial turf so that there won't be any uneven ground surfaces and then it's, it's more fun when like the ball actually goes where you want to go. The football fraternity says the new hub will serve as a key venue to help the next generation of Singapore's football talents shine. Here, youths will play alongside more senior players to help them build bonds on and off the pitch. It now presents us a possibility for the various age groups of uh, our footballers to come together, train alongside and be inspired by one another to role model the good behaviour, the good values of being a Team Singapore athlete and they can aspire towards high performance. Sport officials here also say it marks a step forward in expanding the access and number of play spaces and facilities. There's uh, not just a hardware but also a programming. So I think our Kang Football Hub with the three fields can enable a whole array of uh, programs never done before. So I think it comes hand handy with uh, Unleash the Raw program. It joins several other revamped Heartland sporting spaces across the island, with more new and refurbished facilities also on the way. And for more on what's inside, Alif Amshra gets a look at the hub's high-tech training features that combine sports, science and expertise. I'm here at the Kalang Football Hub to find out how the various amenities will benefit players and give them an edge. And there's no better place to start than this high-performance indoor gym, which comes with football-centric equipment. Now, I'll be joining Dr. Frankie Tan, who's part of the team that brought all the pieces of the puzzle together. Let's go. Okay, this is our monitoring and testing zone. It allows us to monitor the status of our players, to help us ensure that the players are well for training as well as for competition preparation. So over here you see um, the force deck, dual force pit system. Yeah, so it's a very simple system to allow us to do things like single or double leg jumps. Could be a counter movement jump, could be a squat jump, could be a, a drop jump, etc. Et yeah, so we can look at uh, power output, we can also look at asymmetry. Yeah, so all the data will be instantaneously displayed onto the iPad. So doctor, what do we have here? Okay, what we have here is the force frame. It is a comprehensive system uh, for isometric testing and training across every major joint of the body. Mm -hmm. So what you see here is we are showing you an example of a testing of the adductor and the adductor strengths, which are very important for footballing requirements. Yeah. And could you also talk about the training regime? How many times do they have to do, to, yeah. to do something like, like this? Yeah, it depends on the training phase and the training program requirements. Basically helping us to assess their baseline uh, data, for example, and looking at the efficacy of training, how has training uh, influenced the improvement, or if you're looking at fatigue, we'll look at how different training regime would cause fatigue in the players, or after or before a match. These are high performance treadmills that allow for concurrent strength, power, as well as cardio workouts. Yeah, two of the distinct features of these treadmills, one of which is a sled push function. So it actually heightens the experience of pushing a real sled on grass. So the user can actually select how much weight to put on the sled, how long to push, and this form of training is very useful to improve uh, acceleration and sprinting.